everyone, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on the dry brushing method for how to do weathering, usually on solid costume parts, but I have used this on leather and faux leather before as well. Now I've got here just a couple of bits of Sintra glued together and spray painted up a kind of base colour. So if I were to make, like I'm currently making my Mandalorian armour in purple, I might paint it this colour first and then want to weather on top of it. Dry brushing, as the name suggests, involves using a dry brush. Now obviously not fully dry, you do need some paint. Now one method that people use is they sometimes get the cap from uh, spray paint bottles or little tubs, spray some spray paint into them and use that as a, a paint to dip into. But I like using just bits of acrylic, so I've got a nice blob of black acrylic and silver acrylic here. One benefit with acrylic is that they are flexible, so you can use this on foam armour as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be rigid armour like this. Now, dry brush means that you want to get some brush on your paint, get it on a scrap piece of paper or fabric or whatever you're using, and then brush most of that paint off, and then you'll be left with very little. So if I go here, you can see there's a little bit of darkening happening there. And that's all you really want, because you don't want to put just a big black line in the curve, in the corner or whatever. That looks a bit overkill. We don't want that. If you do put too much paint on at all, like that, it's always useful to have some tissue handy. Then you can just wipe it off. And then as you wipe, you'll notice that it's, it's staying in the groove where the tissue doesn't reach. And that actually gives some, some decent weathering in itself. But ideally you don't want to get too much on there in the first place. Right, so as for where you might want to weather, we've got a corner here and a, a kind of dent, a dip here. Dirt is going to get in there and you're not going to wash it off as well as you might kind of on the surface. So you might want to put a little in those places. Again, you might want to wipe that down. Remember, you can you can always add more, so if you want to do it quite subtly at first, you can always go back through and add more if you want. Any damage areas as well, they might have kind of dirt rubbed into them, so you might want to get some in there. However, if you notice on this one, this quite narrow one, it's a bit hard to get it in there. It's mostly going around the edges. You can either use a much narrower brush there and get, do it really finely, or you can use a paint wash or black wash. And I'll be doing a video about those a bit later. As for the silver, that's here because you might want to, for example, if this meant to have been metal armour that's been painted, you might want to show some damage and weathering that has revealed the silver, paint, silver, silver metal colour underneath. And on this, you might want to brush it just on the edges, because the edges are more likely to get chipped. You might want to have just a, a nice faint line along all the edge, but then you might every so often want a, a bigger chip there. And again, anywhere where there's damage, you'd probably find around the edge that some of the paint has come off. And so you might want to do a bit of, of silver around there. And once you've done that, you can see exactly how much dirt you want to have in there as well. Equally on surface scratch areas, you might want to simulate a bit of, of paint chip. Or anything, you know, on my Mandalorian armour, any blaster damage or grazes from, from projectiles or whatever. You might want to do them in silver, anywhere basically where you think it's been damaged. So basically raised edges, silver, indents black. And following that you'll get a nice, simple, evenly weathered look. Don't keep it too even of course, you'll want to have some bits where it's weathered a bit more and some bits where it's a bit less just in order to you know, have a bit of variation, because you don't want it to all look exactly the same. Now for brush types, I usually like to use a nice flat brush, like these, for going along the edges, or for getting in the cracks easily. 
You can also use really tiny brushes like these just for, for getting into so this finer detail. If you want to do kind of randomised damage you might want to get an old scraggly brush like this. So this is a, a really old brush and it's kind of a bit damaged over years of use. And then you can again get a little paint on there and just kind of mottle it on just to show a bit more dirt. And with this, rather than just using black, you might also want to use brown, or if your armour is a dark colour, you might want to use some beiges, some whites, anything to represent kind of sand, dirt, whatever, whatever kind of grub you're looking for. And it's that simple, really. Like I say, a black wash or paint wash over that would also help, but we'll go into that in another video. First, I think... Uh, this might be enough to keep some people that I know very busy just getting over all their armour with the two colours. Best of luck with your costumes. If this has been at all helpful, please do like and subscribe. Please do like and subscribe anyway if you can. Uh, check out my Patreon and my Facebook. And please let me know if there are any other tutorials you'd like to see. See ya!